Hi, it's Lynn Leoz, November the 13th, 2013. Came across some interesting information today about um, how pyramids are actually eight sided twice a year, except only when looking down at them from above. Also, they reflect uh, star constellations. Now, this is an in interesting point. Now, a lot of worldly scholars uh, feel that this is justifiable reason to say, okay, there were space aliens back then. Here's my thoughts. Okay, recently, if you saw my post on um, Before It's News, let me see if I can get to it here. Um, just a minute. I made a post recently about ancient technology and electricity and um, things like that, and it pretty much so explained about how they did have highly advanced technology um, back during the days of the flood and pre-flood. Now, I've done a lot of research on Nephilim and fallen angels. And according to what I've learned, the fallen angels taught man what they knew, their technology and everything. I mean, they're fallen angels. They far exceeded anything that we know of today. They were the ones who taught man what they knew, and they also taught their children, the Nephilim, who were the children of the fallen angels and the human females, the giants. They also taught them what they knew. So here is my recent article I did, uh, Must See Fallen Angels Discovered Wireless Technology and Electricity, includes detailed look globally into ancient megastructures. Now, um, if you remember, it was these first two videos here about wireless energy and about how pyramids were really um, electricity storehouses. They created it. And that was pretty mind-blowing in itself because it's hard to imagine people of that time having electricity when you grew up learning about torches, basically, and, and fire and oil lamps and all that but um, it's very likely that they had this electricity. Now if that's the case, which I believe it is, who's to say they didn't have uh, flying vehicles? If they were far above what we are today to have the type of technology that would have been required to produce electricity in these pyramids, because that's, I mean, that technology is way advanced. Um, in my opinion, they could have had way better aircraft than what we have. They could have had instruments and tools that you do things hovering above it, uh, something that you're building. Who knows? But it's an interesting concept. Now, in the video that I'm going to post with this, it's the Alien uh, series on History Channel. However, I personally don't believe the same as the History Channel does, I believe this was Fallen Angels and Nephilim. And I encourage everyone, even if you believe in aliens, to study the Nephilim. Um, you can follow Chris Putnam and Tom Horn, their Exo Vaticana Petrus Romanos books. Those are excellent. And also there's a couple books by Randy Demain, which even goes into stuff about the Nephilim bloodlines and the Illuminati. Um, called the Nephilim Agenda and the Nephilim Resurgence. Those are also excellent books. Also, you can do a YouTube search on Trey Smith. That's T-R-E-Y Smith, S-M-I-T-H. He has an excellent video about the Nephilim and the Fallen Angels. So I encourage everybody to start studying this. And here's the reason why. I believe, and so do many scholars, that the Nephilim is going to play a big role in end time deception. Jesus said, and I know you all have heard this a lot, Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, or Noah, as it was, so shall it be. Now, we are in those times. We have to look at everything that was going on in the days of Noah, and that is exactly what many of these scholars are doing. They're looking at what's going on in the days of Noah. So I'm going to post the video below um, for you to watch, and please try to have an open mind if you're hung up on that everything is aliens. Um, try to have an open mind about what I've said about the Nephilim. It can't hurt you to dig in and research it and find out more about it. 
I think that you'll find it actually makes a lot more sense than just, you know, space aliens. It really does. And there's more history and information to support it. Thank you for listening, and please feel free and leave your comments in the areas below. God bless.